What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. So today is our day off, technically. Um, I'm not going to make Abby come into the store or anything, but I actually am going to head in a little bit later. Um, I believe we have some more packages to pick up, and then I'm going to show you guys the PS2 collection that we bought from John. So before we do that, I'm going to open up these two packages, which actually were delivered uh, by UPS last night here at the house. We have one more from GameStop, and then one other one, which I'm, I think that I ordered something um, from this place, and I'm pretty sure that this is what it was. Um, we've just ordered so many packages that it's hard to remember like what we ordered. Some of them get canceled and stuff like that, so it's kind of hard to keep track, but I'm pretty sure I ordered something really, really cool here, and I'm excited to unbox it, so let's take a look. So before we get to this big one here, we're going to open up this GameStop package. And it feels like there's a couple more Switch games in this one. Yep, looks like we got two more. Both with the cases once again. We have another SNK Heroines Tag Team. And then we also have another Cave Story Plus. So, and the Cave Story has a little, I think it's a soundtrack. SNK doesn't have anything else extra in there. So... <clears throat> Like I said, I, I guess I ordered doubles of a lot of them. I honestly don't remember, like, which ones because I ordered so many Switch games. But here's the ones from yesterday still over here. And this doesn't even include the ones that we've already unboxed and taken to the store and even put up on the website for some of them. But, I mean, check that out. <laughs> That's a pretty good selection, but also only three of them not having the original cases, I think, is pretty incredible. Obviously, you guys know that... It's a risk when you're buying from GameStop. You don't know if you're going to get the cases or not. So I'm pretty happy with that. And we're definitely increasing our Switch library at the store. All right, so this big one here. This package is pretty light. And I think there might be multiple items, but there's, there's one main one. And I'm very excited to check it out. I've wanted to order it for a very long time, but... It's so expensive to order that I just never did it, but I'm thinking that this might be it. So, oh yeah, it's definitely in here. So first up, we have some Resident Evil action figures. So this is Resident Evil action figures series two. This is Claire Redfield. This is from Code Veronica. Give you guys a close up on that and apparently this is like some exclusive or something i don't remember but either way very 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 cool i will be keeping one of these but i think that i got more than one i'm not sure um we'll see i guess <laughs> so we have a little box here which I believe we have ordered these before, if this is what I'm thinking it is. Yeah. So these are... These are the Super Mario figures. These came out before the World of Nintendo line started. Can't seem to get it out of the box. Well, there you go. They look like that. We have Wario, a double pack which has Goo or Boo and Goomba, Mario, Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong, and one Waluigi. So there's a bunch of those. And then that's another box. Kind of heavy. Okay, it looks like I only got one of the Resident Evil figures, but I can order more. But they only have that particular one. So, I think, I think I know what this one is too. Yes, okay. So these are Mega Man figures. And I've ordered some of these before but it was a long time. So we have, a little crushed, but we have Shadow Man. 
there's like just some crushing on the plastic right here. We have another Shadow Man. A third Shadow Man. We have Mega Man. Another Mega Man. Another Mega Man. Oh, his hand came off. We have Proto Man, but his hand is loose in there. That kind of sucks. So there's another Proto Man. And another. So I guess we got three of each. Last one is Elec Man. And there's two more. Two more of him in there. So pretty cool figures. These are, of course, going to be on the website. Um, I already have all those in my personal collection because I had ordered a set of them a while ago. Um, so these ones are all for the store, including the Mario figures. So the last item here is the one that I was really excited about ordering. Um, you guys have really seemed to enjoy the plushies and they've been selling incredibly well, which I'm very happy about because I like ordering them. I like carrying that stuff and the fact that they're selling as good as they are makes it so that I can continue to look for them and put effort into carrying these things at the store. So the last item here is another plush. And it is a giant Crash Bandicoot plush. Brand new with the tag, of course. But there it is. It's short to coming up a little bit. So this is from 2007. Let me see if the tag says there's one side of the tag. There's the other side. Um, 28 inch Crash Bandicoot. Uh, Kelly Toy is the brand. Universalstudios.com. So I think that it's probably 2007. It's probably for like some of the Game Boy Advance um, like Crash Bandicoot games. Um, so like Huge Adventure or I don't know what, what year like Mind Over Mutant or whatever came out, but could I guess it could be from those two, or at least from that era. But that's super cool. Um, the reason I haven't ordered him before, like I said, is because it's so expensive. Um, I, I actually don't remember exactly how much it is, at least for the retail price, but um, you guys will see whenever I get around to putting it up on the website. Um, it's super cool. I just wish they weren't as expensive as they are because obviously I'd like to charge less for plushies. I've told you guys plenty of times, but we are required to sell for certain prices or they won't sell to us anymore. So I do what I can to, to get the prices as low as possible, of course, for you guys, but um, there's only so much I can do. But that guy is not cheap, unfortunately, but hopefully there's a huge Crash Bandicoot fan out there who needs to have it. So hopefully I can be the one to provide that for them. So I'm going to get ready and I'm going to head to UPS and I think uh, the post office and pick up any packages that are there. Then I'm going to head to the store. We'll open up any of those and also take a look at the PS2 collection that I bought from our friend John. So I just got to the store and I stopped at UPS, grabbed one package, which is a collection that we bought um, of stuff from Mook Jinder. And then I went to USPS and waited in line forever and they didn't have anything for us, which I kind of expected just because Abby already went yesterday and picked up packages. So I was just seeing if there was anything new from uh, yesterday or this morning, which there was not. So before we jump into opening that package and checking out John's PS2 collection, um, because we ended yesterday's vlog pretty early, I just wanted to tell you guys some of the stuff that we ended up doing um, because it's it's not necessarily important, but it's, it's useful information. So we ended the vlog early because one, I had a ton of footage already. Uh, the vlog was almost an hour long. And then also, um, I just wanted to spend the rest of the day focusing on getting orders shipped out because we had been gone. And instead of having to try to find things to vlog or whatever, I just wanted to focus on that instead. Um, so we had 46 orders um, at, you know, at the beginning of yesterday. And we shipped out 41 orders for, of those 46. The only reason we didn't ship the other ones is because we are waiting to hear back from the customer 
uh, we have emailed with either pictures or a description of something and we're waiting on confirmation. So um, I know that not everyone is receiving emails yet when their items ship and stuff like that. But um, if you have created an account on the website, you can log in and you can see what status your order is. If it says processing, that means we have not shipped it yet. If it says completed, that means we have shipped it and there should be a tracking number for you. So if we have not shipped your order yet, there is a chance that we sent you an email um, with pictures or something. And because one of the items is maybe kind of worn or it has, you know, um, like Sharpie on the label or something like that. So, um, if you have not received shipping confirmation or whatever, just check your email, uh, check your spam folder. And if you do have an email from us, please get back to us ASAP so we can get your stuff shipped out. So, um, so that was, that was shipping. So we, we got the majority of the stuff done, which is really awesome. And we actually had some time at the end of yesterday. So I actually put a few new things on the website as well. Uh, we got the little candies that we unboxed and the, the question mark and the, and the uh, mushroom tins. Um, and then we got a couple other things. I got like the LCD watches uh, back in stock. I also put up the Mario Uno games, um, maybe one or two other things. They're mostly stuff in the toy category. And uh, the little candy tins actually ended up being a little bit more than I was expecting, um, just because the website that, we're, that we were ordering from wholesale was a little bit confusing. And I thought that we were paying less than we actually paid. So um, unfortunately we have to charge a little bit more. And, and even, even at the price we're, we're charging, we are barely making anything. It's crazy. Like if, if I realized we were paying that much, I would not have bought them. And the 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 reason it's confusing is because basically they tell you as low as this price and that does not mean that's the price you're paying that means if you order enough quantity they will be that cheap per and um pretty much every wholesale thing is like that so i don't know why i didn't i wasn't paying attention or something um so we ended up paying a lot more than i thought we were and to get that lower price you have to buy an entire case which is like 10 boxes which i don't know if we'd ever sell that many so, um, unfortunately they're a little bit more expensive. If, if for whatever reason they do sell really, really well, then I will order more and I'll try to get a case so that we can price them cheaper. But, um, I just don't really see that happening. So with all that said, um, we're going to first take a look at, um, the package that I just got. So we're going to open that one up. And then we're going to afterwards take a look at the collection that we bought from John. So let's go and open up this box from Mook Jinder. So I've got the package right here. We're going to open this thing up. So like I said, this is a collection that we bought from Mook Jinder. Um, he is out of New York. We've He sent us tons of packages before. We've bought a lot of stuff. Um, he sent a lot of stuff our way, which is always appreciated, of course. Um, and I think that he said that he is either planning to or he is in the process of moving. And so he was kind of downsizing a little bit, trying to, you know, make some room. And uh, so he contacted us and asked if we were interested in anything. And I was like, yeah, definitely. Because as you guys know, we're selling so much on the website, we have to try to restock however we can. Buying collections is a great way to do that. So. I don't believe this is like his entire collection. He has, I mean, even out of the stuff that he originally sent me, there was, you know, one or two things that he actually wanted to keep. And this does not span every system either. So I'm sure he has plenty of stuff left over. Uh, he's not done with collecting as far as I know. So we have, oh, this is, I thought it was a note, but it looks like this is more just a list of everything that was included. So I'll show you that. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff in here. He said that he threw in some extras as well, which I'm assuming are maybe what's on top here. So we have a sample mobile bag, which I'm assuming he kind of just used to pack. We have a Jeffrey plush, Toys R Us Jeffrey plush. Every time we have those in, they always sell pretty quick, which is kind of cool. Um, he says empty cases right here. So we have Fire Emblem Three Houses. I'll, I'll just show them to you like this. 
Oh, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Did not see that at first. Ooh, it's a little sun faded, but still. That is super awesome. Thank you so much for those. We can always use empty cases. Uh, I'll show those in a minute. Just trying to see what else is on top here. What is this? We have a bobblehead, but I'm not quite sure what it's from. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. All it says on the bottom is made in China, so I don't know. If you guys know what that's from, let me know. <laughs> if it's video game related, we'll probably put it up there. I don't know if you can see on the top of the TV, we just have a bunch of like little figures and stuff, uh, little video game related figures that uh, we've gotten from wherever. We just put them up there. All right, so we have Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival for the Wii U. Looks like this one is factory sealed. I should have created some room here to put stuff. <laughs> Give me one second. Made some room right over here on the glass case. All right, we have Star Wars Force Unleashed 2 and Medal of Honor Heroes 2. There's some little foam pack. Oh, looks like he threw in a bunch of these PlayStation pens, which um, he's given us a ton of these before. <laughs> I didn't think that he worked for PlayStation, but he seems to have a lot of them. There's also a bunch of PlayStation VR lanyards. Anytime we get stuff like this, we typically give them out to, cust to customers. Sometimes we will include them with packages that we're shipping out. So um, if you place an order, I guess, like pretty soon, uh, you may be getting a pen or a lanyard. We also have a Pokemon poster here for Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. We actually have one of these on the wall right up there. Um, oh, looks like there's actually two of them. So yeah, we have one of these up on the wall. So these are extras. I'll probably give one of these to Ryan if he doesn't have one and probably find someone else to give one to. So a couple of the things in here are going to be for the collection. Uh, this is one of them, and very happy to get this because we previously did not have one of these at all, and uh, this is a cool one to add. So this is a white PSP Go, but this is factory sealed. So you can see it's got like a it's got a slip cover which comes off, but you can see right here, still fully factory sealed, which is really really cool. We also have. So basically the, the consoles are for the collection. So we also have the original PlayStation Vita. This is also factory sealed. There's the sticker right here. And you wouldn't think that like a sealed Vita would go for very much, but they actually do, especially this like first bundle. Um, and the PSP Go as well. Um, but in my opinion, this is probably the coolest thing in the entire box. Um, and this is definitely for the collection. This is the Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker Big Box or Big Boss Pack, which is the uh, special edition console and the game. And this is also factory sealed. So there's what it looks like on the back. And then these are the pre order bonuses for this. So including those, this is like 100%, you know, complete setup here. Very, very cool. I think we do have a couple different boxed um, PSPs in the collection already, but definitely not this one. No, no, no special editions um, until this one. And I mean, if you're going to get one, that's the one to get. <laughs> that's super, super awesome. So we also have Pokemon Sword and Shield double pack. And if any of these are duplicates, I, th I think, well, I guess I shouldn't say any of them, but a lot of these are duplicates and a lot of them will be for sale, but there are some things that we're holding on to. So I can't tell you each individual item as we go because I don't know off the top of my head, but I'm just letting you know. Uh, looks like this is the pre-order bonus. Uh, the I think it's like a coin or something for Pokemon Sword and Shield. This one I know we do not have in the collection. That is the Super Mario Party big box bundle with the Joy-Cons. Um, and that was also brand new as well. Same with the Pokemon Sword and Shield. And we also have 
Ooh, I don't, mm, ooh. Well, we have limited edition um, uh, Link's Awakening for uh, for the Nintendo Switch. Um, <laughs> but it looks like it got some damage. I don't know if that was damaged um, in shipping, but I mean, that's all ripped up and it's, it's ripped open all the way down. Um, it's also kind of confusing because you can read this this way or you can read it this way and the picture is right. So <laughs> it looks kind of upside down. That's weird. Um, but yeah, so Mook Jinder, I don't know if that happened during shipping. Um, <laughs> I don't remember seeing it like that, but uh, either way, this is not one that we were going to be keeping. Um, it's very, very cool, but we try not to collect PAL games unless they are PAL exclusive. Um, so... Uh, let me know if that was already like that or not. We have a bunch of 3DS games here. Kid Icarus Uprising, Smash Brothers, Paper Mario, Mario Party, uh, Majora's Mask, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Gates to Infinity. We have a Factory Sealed Fire Emblem, Factory Sealed Triforce Heroes, Hyrule Warriors Legends, Super Mario 3D Land, Yoshi's New Island, Bravely Default, and Animal Crossing New Leaf. These four are all sealed. Mario Maker, Imagine Babies, Fire Emblem Warriors, and Ocarina of Time. Mario Golf, World Tour, Poochie and Yoshi's Woolly World, Kirby Planet Robobot, Ocarina of Time 3D, Hey Pikmin, Lego City. Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside, or Bowser's Saga, or Superstar Saga, and Bowser's Minions. Mario Sports Superstars, Puzzle Dragons, uh, Link Between Worlds, Donkey Kong Country 3 Returns, Dragon Ball Z Extreme Butaden. I think is how you say it. And I think the last little bit of 3DS games here, we have Persona Q, Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Omega Ruby, Monster Hunter Generations, Detective Pikachu, Project X Zone 2, Metroid Samus Returns, and Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I'm kind of going through these a little bit quickly because we have so much to get through. Um, let's go back to some more, some uh, some more Switch games. Uh, some of these are sealed, some are not. Crash, Nitro Fueled, Yoshi's Crafted World, Bee Simulator, Astral Chain, Trine 4, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, uh, Breath of the Wild, and Mario Tennis Aces. Garfield Kart, uh, Team Sonic Racing, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and Let's Go Eevee, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and Final Fantasy X-10-10-2 HD Remaster. Most of these sealed, most of these Switch games are sealed. A few are not, though. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, Kirby Star Allies, Fire Emblem Three Houses, Mario Maker 2, Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, and Super Mario Odyssey. My Friend Pedro, Bendy and the Ink Machine, Ghostbusters, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Tokyo Games, Darksiders Genesis, uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Mario Odyssey with the bonus Traveler's Guide. I'm pretty sure we don't have that version in the collection. Splatoon 2, also with the guide. Fire Emblem Warriors, Special Edition. I think that's it for the Switch games. There is one more 3DS game, though. Alpha Sapphire. And then we have some Wii games. Try to push these out of the way. Spider-Man, Okami, Nickelodeon Boating Bash, Monster Hunter Try, Medal of Honor Heroes 2, is that a second copy? <laughs> Medal of Honor Vanguard, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, Madagascar, Call of Duty, Wario Land Shake It, Sonic and the Secret Rings, Cruisin', Sonic and the Black Knight, The Bully, Need for Speed Carbon, hmm. 
Prince of Persia, Forgotten Sands. I don't know if every copy has that. I don't remember seeing that. Uh, Prince of Persia, Rival Swords, Resident Evil 4, and Umbrella Chronicles. One hundred one in one Mega Mix, ha uh, Haunted House, another Boating Bash, and then Mario Galaxy One and Two. Kind of running out of room here. <laughs> Animal Crossing City Folk, Eminem's Kart Racing, Xenoblade Chronicles, Metroid Prime Three, and Zelda Twilight Princess. And there's a bunch more of the PlayStation pens. And let me clear some space, and then all the rest in this box is going to be Wii U. All right, so for Wii U, we have Mass Effect 3, Sonic Boom, Lego Batman, Factory Sealed Splatoon, Game & Wario, and a Factory Sealed Smash Brothers. Pocket Tournament, uh, Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, Hyrule Warriors, Lego Avengers, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, and Mario and Sonic at the Rio games. Marvel Avengers, Scribblenauts Unmasked, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, uh, pot, or Tekken Tag Tournament, Zombie U, Nintendo Land, Mighty Number no. 9. This is a nice boost to our Wii U section, which is always pretty small. Smash Brothers, Tokyo Mirage, Se Mirage, Mirage Sessions, New Super Mario Bros. U, and Star Fox Zero. We just never get Wii U games. Mario Maker, Breath of the Wild, Paper Mario Color Splash, Mario Party 10, Mario Tennis. And the last stack here, we have Bayonetta 2 with number one included, Injustice, Yoshi's Woolly World, Pikmin 3, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, Mario Kart 8, and Super Mario 3D World. So that's all that's in here, other than a couple more of these bags, which like I said, I'm pretty sure he just used for pack. So huge thanks to Mookjender for this awesome stuff. I'm really happy about the, the Switch and the Wii U games in particular, because our selections on both of those consoles are typically pretty small. Uh, Wii U obviously bigger than Switch, but there aren't that many Wii U games even out there. So it's hard to have a decent selection. Um, we have tons of copies of Smash Brothers and Mario Kart 8, <laughs> but we don't have a good variety of games. So this is really, really awesome. So thank you again to Mook Jinder. Um, <clears throat> let me know about that, uh, the Link's Awakening thing. And uh, I'm gonna clear some space here and then we're going to go through the PS2 collection that we bought from John. So I got everything moved out of the way. I've got the gigantic tub of games next to me and also a stack right here. So um, I want to mention that everything here came from John. Um, so this was all part of his collection, but this was not everything. Um, he actually had like 1300 PS2 games and he ended up selling all the sports games, all the filler, all the really cheap stuff. He sold all that to another guy. And then I bought basically the better stuff. Um, this was not, also this was not all that I bought from him. Um, there was a few other things that kind of got mixed in with the pickups from the trip. So I didn't really feel the need to kind of try to separate that to show it to you guys because it's primarily, there's like some N64 games, but it's like Mario, GoldenEye, Zelda, um, another copy of Harry Potter, Sorcerer's Stone for the Xbox, and like some empty PS1 cases and some random stuff like that. Um, but the stack that I have right here is basically from that extra stuff. There were some PS2 games because he actually found them after we had made our deal for this big box. Um, most of his collection is still boxed up right now. We showed you Jackie and John's game room, but that was primarily, I believe, Jackie's room. And John is just now in the process of moving some of his stuff in. So a lot of his stuff is still boxed up and he had pulled out the PS2 stuff, which is what we agreed on, but then he found this stuff. So we made a deal on that separately. So included in the extra stuff was uh, this PS3 game, Blaze Blue uh, Central F Fiction, which is something like a $60, $70 PS3 game, which um, for, for a PS3 game, that's quite a lot for a used one. Um, so I wanted to show that because it was a little bit more special. 
So getting into the rest of the PS2 collection here, let's go. So we have SNK Arcade Classics Volume 1, MS Saga A New Dawn, Blood Omen 2, Yakuza, Leisure Suit Larry, Kim Possible, The Warriors, Extermination, we have the Getting Up Limited Edition Big Box. This is the Driver Parallel Lines Limited Edition, but it's missing the outer box. So if you guys remember on the, the trip to Arizona, I got the Xbox one. This is the PS2 one just without the outer box. I think it really hurts it. <laughs> uh, 50 Cent Bulletproof, Eternal Ring, Genesis Collection, Taito Legends 2, Eve of Extinction, Tales of the Abyss, Nightshade, and Trapped. So <clears throat> also included in the extra stuff I bought from him were some more filler titles, which I decided not to show. It's just random stuff, um, just random cheap games like Tom Clancy and Tony Hawk and stuff like that. So now moving on to the big box here. So I'm going to pull out the special editions first, just because they're sitting on top. And before I get into the bulk of it, I want to mention there are a lot of things out of this that I'm going to be keeping. And I have already, I've shown not pictures, but I showed the list to my friend Sam and he has asked about a few things, but I told him, um, you know, I don't even know what I'm keeping yet. So let me go through it. I will let you know. And he has a list of stuff that he's interested in, just depends on, on price and condition and stuff like that. So, um, Sam is one of my best friends, and so he gets dibs, but um, other than that, there's going to be there's gonna be no dibs. Um, so I will let you guys know as soon as we start getting this stuff on the website, and basically, you know, first come, first serve type deal. Um, but like I said, there are a lot of things that I'm going to be keeping. I do not know what that is yet. I can point out a few of them here and there, but um, I have to compare to my personal list of my collection and see what I need. But I know from that first stack that I just showed you, the MS Saga, I do need to keep. So let's continue on here. We have the Manichemia 2 Fall of Alchemy uh, Limited Edition, or Alchemic Art Edition, I should say. And this is a North American one, and I've never seen this before in my life. And so I'm definitely going to be holding on to this. Um, inside... It has this, which looks freaking brand new. And then it also has like an art book in here. Um, I'm not gonna open up every single game, obviously, but uh, this one I thought was very, very interesting. I've never seen it before. And I am definitely keeping that one for the collection. And then we also have the Grolancer Heritage of War limited edition. I'm pretty sure that I do have this one already, so don't need to keep that. Uh, there's also the Manichemia Premium Box, which is a Japanese import. And this actually, he told me, I haven't opened it yet, but it does not include the game. This is just a statue. So um, let me see if I can get this open, because I, I kind of wanted to check it out too. Um, I will be keeping this one just because it's, it's, it's not a game, <laughs> but it's kind of cool. So inside here, we have the statue. She's like sitting, there's like a little briefcase type deal. She's like reading a book. So that's pretty much all that's in there. There's also like a little piece of paperwork in the box and a couple little pieces of styrofoam, but that's it. So pretty cool little premium box. I don't know. It's, I'm just kind of weird, but uh, I still think it's cool. So like I said, I'll, I will be holding on to that one. That'll look really cool in the PlayStation glass case that we have at home. Uh, another duplicate is the Dot Hack GU Volume 1 Rebirth Special Edition with the action figure. So I already have one of these as well. So this one is going to be for sale. And then we have the Mortal Kombat collection, which is like a big box triple pack thing. And also King of Fighters Impact, 
which is another little like double disc kind of thing here. It's kind of like the uh, Grand Theft Auto double pack. Got the same type of packaging. And then we also have the Grand, Th or <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, the Guitar Hero three disc set. So it's got one, two, and rock the 80s. I'm pretty sure I have that as well. And I pr I'm pretty sure I have the Mortal Kombat and the King of Fighters. And then we have uh, Manicamia Alchemist of Al Revis. Big box here. Pretty sure I have this one as well. And we have plenty more of these special edition things. We have the Devil May Cry 5th Anniversary Collection. And John was telling me that uh, this was a different cover from all the other ones that he's seen. And I know that I have this at home, but I don't know what the cover is. So um, I'll definitely have to compare and see if I if I need that one. Then we have a uh, Mortal Kombat Deception Premium Pack, which I don't believe I have. It's got uh, Deception and then I think a, like a bonus DVD or something. And then we have the Wild Arms 5 Series 10th Anniversary Edition. We have the Magna Carta Tears of Blood Deluxe Box Set. We have the Dragon Warrior 8 Big Box. We have Artanelico 2 in the Big Box. Pretty sure I have the majority of those. And then we have the Grand Theft Auto Double Pack, which is Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories. I don't know if I have this one or not, um, so I'll have to double check. Then we have the Dragon Ball Z Trilogy. Uh, I, this is, uh, it's Super Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi, and Budokai Tenkaichi, Tenkaichi 2. I think that I have this one, but I think I only have it sealed, so I would like to have an open one. And we have the Hitman Trilogy, which I have no idea if I have that one or not. And then I think the last, the last big box one is another one that I need for the collection. That is the Grow Lancer Generations Deluxe Special Edition here which comes with like a watch and all sorts of stuff. So I know I don't have that one for sure. So those are all of the big box special edition ones. So we're gonna continue on here. I'm just gonna grab a stack of games and I'm not gonna be doing them in any particular order. Most, a lot of like the really, really rare ones are all grouped together. So you'll see those when you see them. So we have uh, Girl Answer Generations. Playboy The Mansion, Katamari Damacy. We have Shaman King, Power of Spirit, Ring of Red, Rez, Full Metal Alchemist, and the Broken Angel, Manakemia, the regular case version, Unlimited Saga, Heavenly Guardian, which looks like a cool game, but I would have thought that would have gone with the filler stuff. I mean, I guess I don't know what it goes for now, but I, I always remember that game just being super cheap. Soul Nomad and the World Eaters. Uh, Drakengard. Manhunt. Shin Megami no uh, Tensei Nocturne. Shadow of Destiny. Chaos Wars. Dual Hearts. Resident Evil Outbreak. Xenosaga Episode 1. Dragon Ball Z Infinite World, Xenosaga Episode 2, Dino Stalker, and Urban Rain. This is just all good stuff. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner 2, King of Fighters Collection, The Orochi Saga, Dragon Guard 2, Crimson Tears, Valkyrie Profile 2, and Raw Danger. Shadow Hearts Covenant, Odin Sphere, Final Fight Streetwise, Silent Line Armored Core, Road Trip, Gallop Racer 2004, Yu Gi Oh! GX The Beginning of Destiny, World of Outlaws Sprint Cars, Inuyasha Secret of the Cursed Mask, and Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. The stack's getting very tall up here. Another copy of Katamari Damacy. Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 3. 
Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Echo Knight Beyond. And I'm also pretty sure he said that only one of these did not have a manual. So these should, for the most part, be complete. And I think the one that didn't have a manual wasn't wasn't something, like, too crazy. Silent Hill 4, The Room. Silent Hill Origins. Predator, Concrete Jungle. Gitaru Man. And Futurama. Def Jam, Fight for New York. Dot Hack Part 4, Quarantine. Chulip. God Hand. And Haunting Ground. It's a biggie. So here's a stack with like most of the high-end ones. Blood Will Tell. Kuan, which is like five to six hundred dollars now. It's crazy. Xenosaga, episode three. Samurai Western. Silent Hill, Shattered Memories. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. Wild Arms, Alter Code F. Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner. And Steambot Chronicles. Oh, and this Devil Summoner is factory sealed. Let me clear these out of the way. All right, so that was the two top layers. So now we're onto the two bottom layers. <clears throat> Fatal Frame. Resident Evil Outbreak, file number two. Shadow Hearts from the New World. Shin Megami Tensei Persona 4. The Suffering and the Suffering Ties That Bind. Arc the Lad, End of Darkness. Arc the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. R-Type Final. Uh, Yanya Cabalista, I think, City Skater. Jurassic Park, Operation Genesis. Pretty sure I need that one. Test Drive, Eve of Destruction, and Mega Man X7. Mega Man X8. Ape Escape 2. Godzilla Unleashed. Ace Combat Zero, Belkin War. Obscure, The Aftermath. The Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. And Ease, Ark of Nepishtim. Ghost Hunter, Monster Rancher 4, Gradius 3 and 4, pretty sure I need that one, uh, Gradius 5, and Klonoa 2, there's so many good games, it's crazy, Suicoden 3, Stretch Panic, I'm like knocking stuff over, Dot Hack Part 2, Mutation, Dot Hack Part 1, Infection, Gun Griffin Blaze. Uh, limited Edition Ultimate Spider-Man. I don't know if I have this or not with the slipcover. Grandia 2 and Guilty Gear 10 or Guilty Gear X. We have Taito Legends. Sui Coden 4. Romance of the Three Kingdoms 9. Metropolis Mania. Dark Cloud, Under the Skin, Harvest Moon, Save the Homeland, Mobile Suit Gundam, Journey to Jaburo, Ape Escape, Pumped and Primed, which I don't think I've ever even seen this game before. I definitely do not have that one. Atelier Iris 2, The Azoth of Destiny, and The King of Fighters 11. And this is the rest of the first stack. So we have one more stack at the bottom of the tub here. We have Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2, Mobile Suit Gundam Encounters in Space, Alien vs. Predator Extinction, Baroque, Dot Hack GU Volume 3 Redemption, Kingsfield The Ancient City, Mobile Suit Gundam Zeonic Front, Metal Slug 4 and 5. And Mega Man X Command Mission. And we have Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. Crash, Mind Over Mutant. And Crash of the Titans. Dark Cloud 2. 
Bloody Roar 3, Castlevania Lament of Innocence, and Curse of Darkness. Atelier Iris Eternal Mana, Champions of Norath, Capcom Fighting Evolution, Capcom vs. SNK2, Mark of the Millennium, Phantom Brave, Okami, Shining Force Neo, and Shining Force EXA, Shining Tears, uh, Gundam Force Showdown, Forever Kingdom, I don't think I've ever seen that game. I definitely do not have it. Sega Classics Collection, I don't think I have... Oh, I probably do have that one. Dawn of Mana, Mega Man X Collection, Disgaea 2, Curse Memories, Disgaea Hour of Darkness, and Mr. Mosquito, which is getting super expensive. Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. Cold Fear, Killer 7, Coliseum Road to Freedom, Monster Rancher 3, Gungrave Overdose, Gungrave, putting these everywhere now, Mobile Suit Gundam Zeonic Front, I guess is the second one, and Mobile Suit Gundam Federation vs. Zeon. I don't know if I already showed one of those or not. <laughs> there are a couple doubles. <clears throat> Champions Return to Arms, my favorite PS2 game. Maximo vs. Army of Zin. Maximo Ghost to Glory. Bloody Roar 4. Magic Pengal, Quest for Color. Uh, Shadow Hearts. And Galerian's Ash. I'm trying to not put them in front of the camera. We have two more little stacks here Wizardry, Tale of Forsaken Land. Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented. Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly. Jade Cocoon 2. Wild Arms 3. Finny the Fish and the Seven Waters. Shepherd's Crossing. And the last little stack here. <clears throat> we have Star Ocean, Till the End of Time. Siren. Metropolis Mania 2, Rough Trigger, The Vancore Conspiracy, uh, Mackay Kingdom, and Capcom Classics Collection. So that is the PS2 collection that I bought from John. As you guys saw, just incredible stuff. Um, the only game that's really missing is Rule of Rose. And I don't know if he just like didn't care about getting it or if he just never came across it um but that is like the one game out of this collection that i think is missing and <clears throat> unfortunately we do not have any extras to sell right now because it'd be cool to have that plus all these other ones available at the same time but either way this is an incredible collection here and obviously huge shout out to john for selling it to me and giving me a decent price and like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here that we're going to be keeping for the collection. Well, I wouldn't say a lot. I think that we honestly have the majority of these games already, but there are some here and there that we don't have. Um, and I'll let you guys know as soon as we get stuff up on the website. Um, but I can tell you right now, we should be putting up at least something new every day. Um, I might try to do a little bit before I leave here. Um, cause I wasn't planning on coming or we're not planning on working today anyway, but, um, I might do something. It's not going to be the PS2 games, but I might work on something small. Um, just spend like half an hour, an hour, get something done, but we will, we will be back tomorrow. Um, the PS2 stuff is not the first thing we're going to work on. Um, it is a daunting task because we have to go through the whole thing. Um, but <clears throat> there are other smaller things, packages we've gotten in the mail the past, you know, week or two and, stuff we bought from other game stores, stuff like that is probably what we'll be working on. Um, so if you want to continue to check the website, I know some of you guys already do. Um, but I guess starting on the day that this vlog comes out, cause this is going to come out tomorrow, 
we should be having some new stuff come up on the website every day. I can't tell you how much it's going to be, but there will be some stuff at least. So um, for now, I'm going to maybe get something done and I'm going to head home here in a little bit. Um, Abby and I don't really have anything else planned for today, but there could be more packages that get delivered at home. I don't know. I don't think that there will be, but I guess you never know. So hopefully you guys enjoy checking out that PS2 collection. And once again, thanks to John. This is amazing. One more game that I bought from John, which I thought was really cool. And I, I forgot that I had taken it out of the stack here. I'm keeping this for the collection. Uh, it's a cheap game, but this is a misprinted cover art, which I've never seen before. And it's for Metal Gear Solid 3. The spine is on the front and it's cut off over here on this edge. And then if you look at the back, you get like the beginning of the next thing over here. So the machine at the warehouse, whenever it was printing these and cutting it, it like misaligned, cut it incorrectly, and it still got packaged and shipped out, which I think is really, really cool. Um, it's just something that you never see. You can see the PlayStation logo is cut off up here. Obviously, the spine is on the front of the case, which I don't know. This is really, really cool, and this is definitely going in the collection. I'm about to head home, but I wanted to let you guys know that I shipped three or four orders, and I also got all of these on the website. So we have all these here. These are all complete except for, I think the Castlevania doesn't have a manual. And then I also got all of these on the website. Pretty good stuff in here. And also a couple quick reminders because we get these questions daily still. There is international shipping. Um, all you have to do is when you put stuff in your shopping cart, you'll go to the cart or to checkout and you will put in your address. It'll give you the shipping options. Um, there will ship anywhere in the world. It's not cheap, obviously, but if you're willing to pay for shipping, then we'll do it. Um, also, people ask all the time, how do I know if a game is complete or what it is? At the top of every category, it tells you what to look for. So if you go to N64 games at the very top of the page, it will say, all games are cartridge only unless otherwise stated in the title. Basically, rule of thumb, if it's a cartridge game, it's cartridge only unless it says otherwise. If it's complete, it'll say the name of the game, then it'll say complete. If it doesn't have a manual, it'll say the name of the game, then it will say like game in case or disc in case. If it is a disc based game, it is complete unless it says otherwise. So for those, it'll either be a complete copy or it'll have no manual. We do not have any disc only games on the website. We don't have a single disc only game on there unless you count PSP as disc only. So a couple reminders there. Hopefully um, that clears up any confusion that people are having. Uh, we do get those questions, especially about the second one. We get that every single day. Um, I've tried to make it as clear as I can on the website, but um, I don't really know what else to do. We can't change it to say loose for every single cartridge that would, I mean, we'd have to reprint stat, we would have to reprint tags for literally every single cartridge in the entire store. And uh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> so I'm going to get ready and head home here. I think I am cooking steaks tonight. Either steaks or salmon. We went to we went grocery shopping last night on the way home and we grabbed steak and salmon and some ground beef. Last night we had uh, like hamburger helper type stuff. Um, just like noodles and hamburger, and then Abby put green beans in it as well. It was really, really good, but I think we're going to be having steak or salmon tonight. I'm not sure, but either way, I'm very excited because I have not eaten anything today, and I'm hungry. I think that is all that I've got for you guys today. Um, Abby got a package in the mail, but she's already asleep. I'm not going to open it, but it's the uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, whatever the new one is, it came out for the Switch. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think I think that's just about it. I told you guys, um, showed you guys the new stuff we got on the website. We got some orders out. Um, 
right now I brought a, well, I'm working on entering some collection stuff into the spreadsheet because I brought home a box of stuff primarily from our trip. And as you guys know, I keep a spreadsheet of my collection just so I have everything, you know, have everything on my phone so I don't buy doubles or whatever. Um, but I also, I also do pickup videos, which I'm sure some of you guys have subscribed, um, more recently and haven't seen one yet, but typically my pickup videos consist of every single item that I have bought for the collection since the last video. I show every single thing, um, talk sometimes about the stories about where I got them or, or something like that. Um, but more recently, and when I say more recently, I mean, since we opened the store, the videos have been way more packed with games and they've been way longer because with the store helping to get stuff for the collection, um, on top of me just doing my regular searching, we end up getting a lot more games than we used to. So the videos now are usually really, really long. I'm talking like, I mean, some of them have been over an hour long. Um, typically I think in the 30 to 40 minute range, uh, but I have enough stuff for two pickup videos, honestly, and I'm trying to get it all done so I can just do one gigantic pickup video. It'll probably be like an hour long, but, um, there's a lot of stuff and I keep a pretty detailed spreadsheet. A lot of people will use like, um, like the price charting thing or there, there's, or like game eye or something like that. I just use Google spreadsheets. People ask me all the time. Um, I just have one tab per system and I just keep track of all the information. I have the title of the game. I have the price that I paid. I have where I got it, the date that I got it, whether it's complete or missing a manual or something like that. And then I have a condition notes tab where, you know, I try to keep detailed notes of everything so I can know without having to have the game side by side if, you know, if this one needs a new manual or something like that. Um, so it's pretty detailed. And as you can imagine, it takes a long time to fill it out with new stuff. So that's what I'm in the process of doing. I have not entered anything into my spreadsheet in like three or four months. So there's a lot to do in the back of the game room. Here's typically where I film the pickup videos and the stuff that I have on the floor here is all new that I have not shown in a video yet. So you can see there's just a ton of stuff, and this is a very small portion of it. There's probably three times this amount in my office at the store. So I'm working on that, and uh, that's probably all that I have planned for the rest of the day. I think it's like midnight right now, so can't really be up too much longer anyway. Tomorrow we're going back to the store, and we're going to get a lot of new stuff on the website. I'm very excited. We're first going to take care of all the orders we still have to ship out. There aren't that many. And then... From there on, the rest of the day, I'm going to be adding new stuff to the website. So, um, if you guys watch, if you guys watch this video right now when it comes out, check the website right now because this video comes out at one. Well, I guess if you're if you're watching it at one, um, the new stuff probably is not on the website yet. I would imagine by four or five p.m., you will start to see a lot of stuff on the website, and that's uh, Pacific time, East Coast time. So. Definitely check it out if you guys are interested, and uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this uh, this stuff done, and then get to bed. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.